Welcome to Rotor Riot. I'm Ladriv, and this is the last episode of 2019. It's been an amazing year. We've gotten to work with some really great partners and sponsors that we'd like to thank. So we'll throw all their logos up here. Thank all of them for uh, making so many awesome opportunities happen. And we'd also like to thank all of you guys for making Rotor Riot possible. This channel couldn't exist without all of you guys supporting us by watching the channel, by shopping in our store for all the drone parts that you need. So thank you for making Rotor Riot a thing. We love getting to do this and we can't wait for everything that the next year has in store. On that note, uh, we thought that the best way to end this year is with a community spotlight episode, which we haven't done in a long time, where we find awesome FPV clips and share them with you guys because there's so much amazing FPV content out there and we wanna share the love. So let's get right into it. Our first category is sick tricks and rips. So these are some videos that feature either one really awesome trick or a couple of cool tricks. This is window washer FPV and we featured this pilot on Community Spotlight before. In fact, he used to go by a different pilot handle. He was doing a lot of this, what I like to call building dancing. Usually buildings with a lot of glass, windows. So one time when we featured him, I said, oh man, he should change his name to Window Washer FPV. And he actually did. He's like washing windows all the time. Yeah, all he's, the time. why is he called Dozer? This is Window Washer yeah, FPV. Right. <laughs> That's a good pilot name. And he's still killing it with this same building dancing style I love seeing how he can take a pretty simple obstacle it's just a wall and make a lot of different moves out of that one element also at the time of recording this video he has 1.99 thousand subscribers he's so close to two so make sure to check his channel out and help him get over that 2,000 subscriber mark a link to his channel and all the pilots channels featured in this community spotlight will of course be in the description here we got Chris Wind. This video I love because it has a really polished look in that he's got just the perfect amount of motion blur. He's got a nice color grade on it. He's got a really cool song he's chosen, but it's actually just a, like a one take raw line and it's a really exciting line the whole time he's getting a lot of good flow in he's exploring a really expansive area and it's just it's just a good captivating watch polished package that i really like this is a sick rip cola fpv i really like his wall rides i i'm not exactly sure how he's doing such long rides on the wall i almost think he must be using a really high up tilt Oh, and that shaft dive was sick. This is just such a cool abandoned building location. I believe in Quebec. Yeah, it's a bando in Quebec, and he's tearing it up. So inside, he's getting that tight proximity stuff, and when he's outside, he's getting that really high speed wall ride action that I just love so much. Last video in this category is by Basic Flies. Check out this Matty flip in this bando. That was so cool. In the description, he explains that he was really proud of this uh, of this run, but that his GoPro was broken and his SD card was corrupted. So all he was left with was the DVR. But I wanted to include this because that happens to everyone and it's so frustrating when your best run doesn't get recorded on the high def camera, but I'm glad that he shared it anyway because he is tearing it up. So just keep ripping this one up. What a cool spot. I want to fly this one. All right, our next category is firsts. These are videos that I wanted to recognize where someone's doing something for the first time. They're sharing their growth and evolution in this sport and that's awesome. Malzanar, hope I said that right, Malzanar FPV. By the way, only 11 subscribers. This guy is very new. He's so new that this is the first video he's ever posted. And also, this is his first time diving a building and he's doing a great job. Another reason that I really wanted to spotlight this is that he's doing building dives the right way. This is at a remote location. There's clearly no one below him. All risk has been mitigated, so I'm really happy to see a new pilot pushing themselves, but still being very responsible with it. You can push the limits and do epic stuff while still being 
responsible, and mitigating risk. So I also love this raw part of the experience when it lands and you see him like, ah, like we've all felt that when we're pushing the limits. So thanks Mal Zenar for sharing that experience in such an honest way uh, and doing it in your first ever YouTube video. That's awesome. Eduardo Zane, only 48 subscribers. In this video, he's sharing his first ever Maddie flip, which is one of my favorite tricks. The Maddie flip is a pretty advanced trick. It's like a reverse power loop. You go over something and then push back through it. And to take it to the next level, he's doing it at a pretty crazy spot. He calls it a rusty bando. So really exciting to see someone pushing themselves at an epic location. And for a first Maddie flip, dude, that was good job. Welcome, recruit! All right, and this last one for first is a little bit different of a first. This is Ryan Tan's first ever TV gig. So Ryan is getting to use his FPV skills to film for a TV show, I believe called Caesars Recruit. It takes place in Asia. And this is like a reel of the B-roll that he captured for the TV show. It's mixed with dialogue from the show. And I don't know anything about the show. I don't think it plays in America, but he's getting to do a lot of car chasing and fly in cities. And it's really awesome to see FPV being used in more mainstream media and that a pilot in our community who does racing and does freestyle is getting to do that. So great job, Ryan, on your first TV gig, and I hope you get a lot more gigs in the future. Want to pause for a quick second because this video is brought to you by Quadbox. So one of the pilots that we're featuring in this community spotlight, we're gonna send you a quad box. If you don't know what quad box is, it's a monthly subscription box. Every month you get a box of FPV goodies, a cool t-shirt, a tool, a drone part, Lots of fun stuff. The December quad box actually featured a full set of the new 6S version of the blaster motor. So that was a pretty cool box and I think January is gonna be pretty good too. So one of the pilots that we are featuring here is going to receive January's quad box on us. All right, let's get to the next category, which is always a favorite, location, location, location. So these are not just cool locations that someone's getting to fly at, but it's that person making the most of that location and doing something really great with it. So first up, we got Florian Lepriol getting to fly a French castle. And what's extra cool is that there are like race gates set up. So it's this fun mix of drone racing elements and historic architecture. Beautiful landscapes. He's exploring the whole area. And Florian is just a great pilot, so love this video. This moment where he gets to fly with the birds, that just, that's awesome. Oh, and then he's like, going between the features of the rooftop. There's a lot of good moments in this video. Patrick's FPV. So this is really unique. Patrick's has posted a lot of videos where he is flying from this barge. I believe that he works on this barge and gets to fly from the boat pretty often. It's just a really unique experience that he's sharing with us because he's just out at sea. There's nothing to be seen on the horizon for miles. The aesthetic of this video is just really unique in that like the horizon almost disappears. You can't see where the sea ends and the sky begins, but you see the texture of the water and you see this giant boat almost just floating in this endless space. And then you also get to see a little bit of Patrick himself. He orbits himself standing on one of the boat's balconies. You should check out his channel. There's actually another one of these boat videos where he encounters some dolphins, and that's really cool. I ended up showing this one because I think just the, with the fog and the way the horizon disappears, it is the prettiest one that I saw. Patrick's, I would actually love to see a vlog from you about your experience working on a ship and getting to fly from the ship. If that's something you're into doing, it'd be pretty cool to see that. All right, last up in the locations category, we've got Derek FPV. I love Derek. He has been involved with Rotor Riot in various ways for a long time now. He is an awesome dude. And in this video, he sets out with, as he says, one single goal to inverted orbit, or as I like to call it, a trippy spin around a waterfall. What? That's, that's a really 
really aspirational challenge. And this is just such a gorgeous waterfall. You can see on most sides of the waterfall, it's gonna be wide open, but then uh, yeah, there's a cliff behind one side. So you're gonna have to hold your orbit very close to the stream of water. He kind of shows the whole process and you can kind of get a sense for how he's freaking out and you see the bailouts and you can relate. And then finally on the third try and nails it and it's so sick, it's so sick. That is something I would love to get to do someday. Great job, Derek. Our next category is young rippers. So these are young FPV pilots, the future pro FPV racers and freestylers. And it's just really cool to see such young people getting into FPV because it is, it is a complicated hobby and sport to be able to build and tune and pilot these things takes a lot of skill. That to FPV is only nine years old and a lot of his videos are more focused on racing, so if you visit his channel, again, link in the description to all the channels we're featuring, uh, you can see a lot of him practicing racing and you can keep up with uh, the improvement. But in this video, he's doing uh, a little more freestyle, so you know, that's the one that we had to feature here because we love freestyle. So yeah, he's just got a really solid foundation for flying at such a young age, and that's so exciting to see, and I really hope that he sticks with it and continues to develop his skills because he could grow up and be a really, really good pilot. Gun Wu FPV is only 15 years old and he's only been flying for one year. And look at some of the crazy stuff this dude does. This dive, oh my gosh, that's so crazy. So this young dude is going to really cool spots and tearing it up. This, I'm so jealous of this spot. Where is that? I think it's Korea. Yeah, I, I wanna go to Korea just to tear up this building. This is so cool. And then he can dive into the, look at that. The whole thing, you can dive inside the whole building. That's so epic, dude, that's so epic. Stick with it, Gunwoo. The last young ripper that we're featuring is Bubby FPV. We have featured him before, uh, the first time he ever made a vlog. And what I'm really excited to see is he's kept up with the vlogging and man, the improvement is so impressive. He's so much more comfortable talking to the camera. And in this video that we are featuring, he is actually taking on doing a trick tutorial. And I've always said that doing trick tutorials provides a great format for doing a video. It pushes you as the video creator to actually have to convey specific information and explain something and hopefully do it in a creative way. And the viewer actually gets the benefit of getting to learn something and improve their own skills as a result of watching your videos. So I'm just so pleased to see that Bubby has not only stuck with pushing himself as an FPV pilot, but also as a video maker and is doing tutorial stuff now. And he explains it pretty well. He's got the stick overlay so you can see what he's doing. And he's doing the trick, which by the way, this is a tough trick. Did I mention he's only 14 years old? Awesome stuff. Bubby, please keep making videos like this. Our final category for this community spotlight is such cinema. Even though here at Rotor Riot, we mostly do freestyle, we love this cinematic aspect of FPV drones because it's just such a unique camera platform. So let's take a look at what some of these pilots are doing. First up, we've got that flying Ryan. In a video titled FPV plus tennis equals amazingness, and this is kind of like a one take Cinewhoop video. And what I like is that he starts with the establishment showing uh, like a country club golf course situation and then comes into the tennis court and then starts going back and forth with the players, mixing in slow-mo and sound effects. And it's just a unique video. I don't think I've seen a Cinewhoop tennis video before. I will say that the whole time watching this video, I kept hoping that the tennis ball would end up hitting the drone. He could have made that happen, man. That would have taken it to the next level, but this is a really cool video. This video is by East Speedy. This guy is so talented. We featured him before. I've met him several times. He's a really great guy too. And this video is just, uh, it's like a super edit what looks like an awesome vacation in Colombia. He's getting to chase waves and surfers on waves and fly through 
cliff valleys and chase people jumping off those cliffs into waters. Just a really great high energy, good vibes video. And it just makes you want to be there. Like I want to go to Columbia and cliff jump. That looks so fun. I also, I like how he's mixing in like handheld shots and you can't always tell immediately if it's a handheld shot or a drone shot. So it's not just about the drone flying, he's just making good video clips. This next video by Mr. G Seeks is another exploration of an awesome place. This is a tour of Korakola Island in Croatia, and it's just so creative what he does. Throughout the whole video, he starts with this top-down shot that like cuts to the what looks like a jump down, and he's using transitions and zooms in like a really creative way. And of course, mixing in FPV flying. And I just love like the fast pace and the cool transitions and the beautiful scenery. Island exploration in 60 seconds. It's really cool. But this is just like a really jam packed 60 second video. You kind of feel as the viewer, like you're thrown into this right from the start with that drop down and you're just rushing through the island, seeing all the scenery and then whew, you're out of it, 60 seconds. And the last video for this category and for this community spotlight is by the one and only Finky. We featured this guy so many times. He is so awesome. And what's really cool about this video is he's showing behind the scenes of his life as a professional FPV drone pilot. The coolest part of this video is because he shows you the behind the scenes of this choreographed flight in a uh, martial arts facility. And it's so cool to see the different perspectives of this video because in the end result, people are appearing out of nowhere. He times the camera and the people coming in and out of scenes so that people are just seemingly appearing and disappearing. But then when you watch what's actually going on and how well timed it is and people are playing to the angle and doing things like getting the drone to land on the head of one of the fighters and how someone snuck up from behind, grabbed it and held it on his head for that perspective, this shows so many creative uses of the Cinewhoop flying. I love this, oh my gosh, it is just so cool to see how well thought out this is. This is taking Cinewhoop flying to the next level. So that is gonna do it for this episode of Community Spotlight. I really hope that you guys check out all of the pilots and video makers that we featured here. Links in the description to everyone. They're all super talented and some of them have very little subscribers. They deserve your attention. We're gonna pick out one of these pilots and give them a quad box. I'm gonna go ahead and pick Basic Flies. I just thought that was a really cool bando run. Love the freestyle, love the variety of tricks. And I, I know I showed his clip that was just DVR because the, the crashed GoPro, but check out his channel because he's got a lot of other great edits that are in full HD. He's super talented. So Basic Flies, hope you enjoy your quad box. Happy New Year's, everybody. I'm so excited for what 2020 holds. We really appreciate your support all this year and look forward to everything that we're gonna do together in the coming year. I'm Ladrib and this has been Community Spotlight. By the way, every time we make one of these episodes, someone comments on the ear pod. We wear this so that when we're watching the videos, I can hear the music and talk about it without it. There's a reason, I'm just saying. It's not a fashion statement, it's just a...